I'd like your advice on how to understand annual reports, what you look for, what's important, what's not important, and what you've learned over the years from reading thousands of reports. Shout out to my random subscribers. Thank you for all your support. If you want to get mentioned for my next video, subscribe now. Well, we start by looking at the reports of companies that we think we can understand. So we hope to find, we hope to be reading reports, and I, and I do read hundreds of them every year. We hope to be reading reports of businesses that are understandable to us. And then we see from that report whether the management is telling us about the things that we would want to know about if we owned 100% of the company. And when we find a management that does tell us about those things and that is candid in the same way that a manager of a subsidiary would be candid with us and talks in language that we can understand, it, it definitely improves our feeling about, about investing in such a business and the, and the reverse uh, turns us off to some extent. So if we read a bunch of public relations gobbledygook you know, and, and we see lots of pictures and no facts, uh, it has some effect on our attitude uh, toward a business. We want to understand the business better when we get through with the annual report than when we picked it up. And that is not difficult for a management to do if they want to do it. If they don't want to do it, you know, we, we think that is a factor uh, in whether we want to be their partners over a 10-year ten, ten period or so. I do think the if you've got a standardized bunch of popular jargon that looks like it came out of the same consulting firm, I, I do think it's a big turnoff. That's not to say that some of the consulting mantras aren't right, but uh, I think there's a lot that were sort of candid, simple, coherent prose. A lot to be said for it. Almost every business has problems, and we just assume the manager would tell us about them. Uh, we would we would like that in the businesses we run. In fact, one of the things we give very little advice to our managers, but one thing we always do say is to tell us the bad news immediately. And and I don't see why that isn't uh, good advice for the uh, the manager of a public company. Uh, uh, over time, you know, I'm I'm positive it's the best policy, but but uh, a lot of companies, for example, have investor relations people, and they are they're dying just to pump out what they think is good news all the time. And they, they have this attitude that, you know, that you've got a bunch of animals out there to be fed and that they're going to feed them what they want to eat all the time. And over time, the animals learn. Uh, so it's, it, we, we try to stay away from businesses like that. What you seldom see in an annual report is a sentence like this. This is a very serious problem, and we haven't quite figured out yet how to, how to handle it. But believe me, that is an accurate statement much of the time.